Mass just for the breadfruit, them round there. Get your breadfruit, breadfruit. You want breadfruit? Just tell me if you want breadfruit, breadfruit. You want breadfruit? Hello, my lovies. Today I will be making roasted breadfruit for you guys. I got these two breadfruits when I went to Portland yesterday from my mom in law. Thank you, Grandma Millie. Okay. I don't know the different types of breadfruit. I'm very sorry. Every breadfruit gets roasted and then fried for me. I don't really like boiled food, so yeah. When you're going to roast a bread food, the first thing that they say that you should do is to take a knife that I have here and you make an X on the bottom like this. Right? The X doesn't have to be that big. See, you make an X on the bottom. They say it's to release the steam from the breadfruit whenever it's being roasted. I don't know want to make them this way, but hey. So I have both my breadfruits on the stove over low flame. I ensure that I did both breadfruits on one side of the stove and you will see why as the video progresses and this is how the breadfruit will look once it's been roasted and the flame touches the skin see the flame it's very low you can barely see it because you don't want the skin to get burnt I have a wet rag see my fingers are wet it's wet and I will just use it to turn the breadfruit please to be careful so you hold it by the top and you put it look at that that's a stain from the breadfruit if that gets on your hands it's trouble for days so I turn it on a different side so that it can get roasted I'll hold this on here And turn it. Look at that. Mm. This is what the low roasted section looks like. Let's go check on our breadfruit. Mm. Let's put it on the bottom where the cut is. Sometimes it will overlap, but that is okay. This feels like a bread food that you would boil, but I don't know. <gasps> and as it gets softer, oh, I'll put it on this side. Oh, the grill did this. So as it gets softer, it will open up. Okay. Um, so this is why I mentioned that you need an old cloth because this is what your cloth will look like after you're finished roasting the breadfruit. Now I have my two roasted breadfruits here, right? And this is how you know when it's ready. So you take the knife, you can either use a top and you put it all the way through to the heart of the breadfruit and it's supposed to have food on it like this oh let's check on our breadfruit now this right here this, this means that the breadfruit got a little bit more cooked here than everywhere else and I don't like seeing this, but it has to happen if you're using the stove, so that's fine. Because once you're peeling it, it means that this part is tougher and it will break off when you're cooking. However, 